Well, hello, fellow campers. We're back. Yeah, we uh, got a really late start this year. Very late. But we've been out once already, <laughs> but still we got a late start. Yeah, yeah. We should have been out way sooner yeah, than this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I guess better late than never, though. <laughs> exactly. So tell them where we're heading to. The Hoosier State. That would be Indiana. Yes, it would be. <laughs> And we're on our way to the Mounds State Recreation Area. Not to be confused with Mounds State Park in Indiana. All right, we're going to Brookville Lake. <laughs> it's in like the central eastern part of India, maybe, maybe central south eastern part. Yeah. 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 So it's been a few years since we've been there, so we're kind of looking forward to see if anything's changed, um, whether they've had any improvements or maybe not improvements yeah, maybe it's run down now I yeah who know. knows <laughs> uh, we're gonna find out for ourselves and we're gonna let you know yes we are <laughs> so stay tuned and uh, I think you'll like this video Well, we made it. We're all set up. Now we're hungry. Yeah, so we're going to go into Brookville. Or Liberty. We're not sure Liberty, yet yeah. where we're going to end up. But we're going to find a restaurant somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but we're inside E13, and we'll show you more about it tomorrow. Yep, see you then. Well, good morning. It's been a lazy morning. I haven't got uh, up and about too quick. So but Anyway, we're up now. We're going to go out and explore the campground, uh, the state park. And who knows what else? Chrissy's over there, see her? <laughs> hey, honey. Tell so anyway. Them, tell them about uh, dinner last night. Oh, we had dinner at this place. It was called Corners Country Kitchen. Yes. It's in Brookville. Excellent. Yes, very good. The service was fantastic. It's family kind of food, you know, just your good old comfort kind of food. And um, yeah, we had great a great waitress. Oh, and, yeah. Very clean, and we got there late, and they didn't even, they weren't grouchy about it or anything. <laughs> they like, come on in. <laughs> right. If they didn't wait around for us, you know, after we left, they were gone. <laughs> but anyway, I had a, uh, something I never had before, never thought I would, a uh, peanut butter, jelly, burger. and a burger with cheese on it. Sounds gross, but man, was it good. Woo, <laughs> dog. The onion rings were good. I stuck with a plain old Reuben sandwich, and it was awesome. Yeah, I guess. So. You guess. So if you uh, end up camping down here, just know that Corners Country Kitchen is a good place to eat. They do breakfast too. All right, well, let's get on the road. All right, here's our campsite for the weekend. Very nice. It rained a lot here, it looks like. It's really muddy, but overall, not too bad. What do you think of the campsite? I like it. It's got a nice view of the little pond. Uh, we're on E13. And it backs up against some grassy area, and yeah, I, I thought it's been very nice so far. Woke up on a Saturday morning, hoping that you had called me. Realized it was the afternoon, I'm still sleeping off the party.
like the camp store is open this weekend. I wasn't sure if it would be. So we're going to go in and look around. Here is where we're located on Brookville Lake. And as you can see, Brookville Lake is kind of long and skinny. And that's right where we were at. We've got my St. Patrick's Day mask. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> that's how we do it at work. Someone comes in. Oh, good. They're like, come over here. We haven't been here for like three years. Yeah, we're from here, Dayton. A little bit of ice cream in there. Yeah. Um, Highland Buckeye. Yeah. So we just do like paint ground reviews. Okay, so while I was in the um, camp store, I picked up a map. And the gentleman that was working in there was very friendly and helpful, um, as you saw probably from our video. And the map is of the campground, and I thought I'd just share this with you real quick after we um, have shown you the campground, you know, the sites and stuff. There, when you come into the campground, you'll come in this way. And this first section here is actually the section we're staying in, and we're in section E. And the section C is all full hookup. And then you have all these different loops here. And then if you come out of that section and down the road, the camp store is here. And then there's a couple other sections along here. So the campground itself is actually in two different sections with multiple different loops in each one of them. It's a big campground too. So if you can't find a site here, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> and they also have an amphitheater here uh, for outdoor activities. The amphitheater is located right near the entrance to the campground. So this is the beach at the, um, the Mound State Recreation Area. And it's not within walking distance of the campground. You would have to drive to get here. And with it still being early spring, they still have the water level down here at the lake, so um, that's why it looks the way it does. Even though it's a chilly day <laughs> here at the uh, at the park, there's a few brave souls playing along the edge of the water and enjoying the sun out on the beach. Well, there's multiple trails you can take in the area and we decided on one it's the glidewell trail and there's a two and a four mile hike option we're gonna do the two mile i just saw your eyes get big <laughs> <laughs> we're doing the two mile and it takes you to an indian mound so we're gonna go see what's what's out there sort of late for us <laughs> Um, we don't know what it was used for, you know, whether it was ceremonial or I, I doubt it's burial, but it would be nice to know more about it. So if any of you know more about the mounds, the mound here at Mound Recreational Area, let us know. Um, it, we were curious to know what, some more history about it.
Well, we made it off the trail. Um, I thought it was a good trail. It was a yeah, nice hike. Um, they describe it as moderate, and I think it's pretty accurate. Yeah, but there's a lot of trees down, as you've seen. So that made it a little rougher, but... <laughs> a little more challenging. A little challenging. <laughs> but I thought it was a nice hike. You could see, um, you could see the lake with the trees not having leaves on them yet. You could see the lake along the, the trail and then it take, took you by some um, marshy, wet areas. And now uh, we got to watch the frogs. Yeah. Play with the frogs. And then alongside a cornfield. So I, all in all, I think it was a good hike. It yeah, was a good one. Yeah. at all. Yeah. Not Even bad. though we thought we were lost there for a few times. Yeah. It all worked out. I had to call, had to call Uber, I thought, but <laughs> we got out. <laughs> all right, now it's off for more exploring. Yep. This is uh, the Lake Overlook. We can look out at Brookville Lake. We can go on up that way or this way? Let's go over I don't know. Let's go this way. Okay. <clears throat> Well, that's a beautiful uh, view of the lake from the Overlook. Uh, now I think we're going to take a drive down through Brookville. It's a cute little town. That's where we had dinner at last night uh, before we make our way back to the campground. Well, I hope you enjoyed following our adventures around today. We had a good time uh, checking out the state park here and uh, take a drive into Brookville and check it out. But now it's dinner time. What do we got? We have got ham and potatoes that have been cooking in the crock pot all day. Oh, yeah. So a nice warm meal on a cool evening. I'm probably going to eat some dinner. Maybe take Zoe for a walk, have a campfire. Uh, I think we're going to try to catch the sunset on the lake. We'll see what happens. Got a lot to do the next few hours. <laughs> <laughs> we got the time. <laughs> so right now we're going to enjoy some dinner. Woke up on a Saturday morning, hoping that you had called me. Realized it was the afternoon, I'm still sleeping off the party. All right, well, what we thought of the campground. What do you think, honey? Oh, I think as always, it's nice. It's, um, it was pretty quiet this weekend. There weren't a whole lot of people as early in the season. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we kind of was surprised that there weren't pe more people here. What so, are you after, Zoe? I'm chasing Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, we had a great weekend. It was um, a nice campground. Um, I didn't get to show you the restrooms. They weren't open yet. All they had were their latrines, yeah. but uh, yeah. But they we we know from experience that they're nice. Yeah, we used to use them all the time when we had the pop up camper. Right. So right. So we know they were clean and well maintained, and I really don't think that would have changed in the past few years. I wouldn't think so. They take pretty good care of the park. Yeah, I think the only upgrade that I could see that they could do is maybe some of the roads or the pads. Maybe. Yeah, they could use a little work, but you know, no different really any other campground. Right. You know, a little older. Yeah. But other than that, it was, we had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun. And uh, Brookville, like we showed you, is um, a nice little town. Um, good place to eat. They have an ice yeah. cream place. Yeah, you guys want to check that place out we told you about. Yep. Corners Country Kitchen. Yeah, it's really good. And um, the dam area is nice. Um, it's mm -hmm. a big boating um, area. A lot of people boat and fish. And so that attracts a lot of mm -hmm. people. Right. In the summertime, right, it's, it gets pretty busy, but um, 
So anyway, we uh, have nothing negative to say about it. Nope. We recommend it. <laughs> so uh, I guess that'll wrap this up. Yeah. If you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so you're alerted the next uh, the next time when we have a new video out. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.